Hello and welcome to Nick Bowler Radiology for this new um, feature that I'm running, which is reporting shorts, little short videos, less than three minutes long, to go in the short section. And this is on a patient who presented after second ESWL to left distal ureteric stone, and we're looking for any improvements. If we look at the previous CT here, we can see that we've got this calcific density in the region of the distal ureter. It's coming in there. So you can see this is a distal ureter coming into bladder. All this is bladder here. And then if we look on the x-ray, we can see we've got the stone there. This calcific density coming in here in the region of the distal ureter. If we also look up here, we can see we've got further smaller calculi in the upper, mid and lower pole of the right kidney. And also if we zoom across on this side, we've also got a tiny, although it's probably difficult to see on here, but tiny little calculus within the mid pole of the left kidney. Other features, guys, is this external zip artifact. We get those quite a lot, worth mentioning. We've got some moderate degenerative changes at the hip joints, and we've also got some cam morphology. This is where you just get a little bony outbulge in there of the femoral neck. Might do a feature on them later. And we've got some moderate degenerative changes at the lumbar spine. We've got osteophytes, we've got some end plate sclerosis, and we've also got some disc space narrowing. So this is how I structure my report, guys. So I usually do a um, report section where the bulk of the explanation is and then a little summary section or an impression section at the end. So I've mentioned the uh, external metallic clothing artifact there just to avoid any confusion. I've also pointed out those smaller renal calculi that we showed. And then crucially, I've just described that there's no interval change in size or location of that left distal ureteric calculus. I have mentioned the degenerative changes at the hip joints and lumbar spine. Some reporters don't do that, but I think if you see an abnormality, it's important to mention it in the report section. But then we can summarise nicely there in the impression section, no interval change in size or position of a left distal ureteric stone. Okay, thanks very much, guys. I'll do more of these shorts alongside the larger videos. But yeah, if you have any ideas for content, give us a shout. And uh, if you liked it, drop us a like, subscribe and share with your colleagues. Okay, thanks very much. Bye for now.